Hey YouTube, what's going on? Gil Daddy and Gil Mama here. We're actually in Seattle right now and we are trying to get to S Gates, taking these trains around Seattle. It's a big airport, so um, we're heading to China. We've been Shanghai. on Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai and then to Yiwu, the wholesale trade city. So I don't know, it's like a 12 hour flight from here. We've been on planes for the last two and a half, three hours. So we got a long ways ahead of us. Luckily, I loaded my laptop up with some movies, some TV shows to keep us busy. And I have cookies in my backpack. <laughs> cookies. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to head to our gate. I think the shuttle is about here now. So we'll talk to you in a second. So anyways, we're going to China. Oh, it's going that way. Should have held the handle. <laughs> We're going to China uh, mainly to source products, find some ideas. We're going to meet with the sourcing company there. If you don't know what Yiwu is, spelled Y-I-W-U, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. I don't even know. We're just going there. Uh, look it up on YouTube. It's actually pretty freaking cool. Actually, I don't even know if this is in China or not. We haven't been there yet. <laughs> They're really good. But yeah, 40 minutes and then we're on a 12 hour flight to Shanghai. Then we're going to take a bullet train or high speed train over to Yibu. So I know it's been a while, guys, since I posted a video. I know because people are leaving comments like, you could have at least said goodbye. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I forgot. No. <laughs> to be honest, I been busy with the you know our private label business um, you know launching products uh, just building our business bigger and bigger and uh, really I haven't had a whole lot of stuff to make a video about and I haven't done it in a while but I figured since we're going to China I might as well make a video for you guys and say hello but so far uh, this year our business has been doing wonderful we've been growing it more and more every single month you know we still have uh, employees like I told you last time and we are uh, actually hiring a sourcing company to do all our sourcing. So we're gonna meet with them when we go down to China. So that should be pretty fun. But they're gonna have a translator if I need a translator. Um, I think we're gonna walk around the um, wholesale districts uh, by ourselves at first. We're gonna write down products that we think might be good products. Uh, I do have a bunch of samples I'm taking to China as well, just to see if I can get them made. But hopefully we don't get lost. Hopefully we can find our way around because this is kind of a, you know, a new thing for us. And I, I have some friends that have been there and they say it's not that bad. So we'll see what happens. I'm dying right now. It's freaking hot here. This is, don't come to China in July, I gotta say. It's like, uh, I don't know, I'm just, you can see how red I am. 
sweating bullets here, waiting to get in a car and take us to the train station. All right, so we just showed up at the train station here, and uh, luckily they have English written below all the Chinese, so um, which is good because I don't read Chinese. <laughs> um, but uh, we have to go to the ticket office and get a ticket um, for a high-speed train to Yiwu. Uh, it's about an hour and a half uh, trip and uh, hopefully we can navigate our way. But we've never been here, so we're gonna try it. Right, Gil Mama? <laughs> She's tired. I'm tired too, but I can fake it. All right, so we got our train tickets. Uh, should have bought them in advance, obviously. I found out that my train ticket um, doesn't provide me a seat because it's too packed. Um, so I guess we're going to be standing for an hour and a half on this fast train <laughs> or sitting on my luggage or something. Uh, it's hot. It is hot, hot, hot. You can see the trains behind us. We're waiting for a train right now, so we'll see what happens, I guess. What's up guys? Just got into our room finally after that long train ride standing the whole time and uh, Gil Mama's exhausted as you can see but we haven't eaten. We're hungry um, and I really need a beer. Pretty sure they have beer in China. Um, either way I'll tell you all about it later. We're gonna go to the restaurant uh, downstairs get something to eat. Um, we're staying at this hotel here. It's actually not too bad. It's uh, the it's a best western. Let me show you outside. And uh, you can see it's right in the middle. You see that says district. That's one of the districts of the wholesale market. But there's districts that go all along. They're just all over. This is the whole trade area. So today we spent most of our day going through the Yiwu uh, wholesale trade market. And uh, I got to say it's uh, like the biggest mall in the world. Uh, we were talking to one of the, the guys that's taking us around to these places. And he said that if you visited every single booth for five minutes, he said it would take three months. 
oh, two months, two months to visit every single one. And, uh, I mean, I think we probably walked five, six, seven miles today. I don't know. It's insane. And we got a lot of product ideas. We got a lot of product quotes. Um, but it's just insane. So my takeaway so far is that in China, uh, you don't want to drive here. <laughs> like people that drive here, they, they don't use blinkers for the most part. They just kind of like cut in wherever they feel like. And there's like these mopeds and motorcycles that are driving all over the place. And they just like cut in between you and almost get hit. I think they just know that people won't hit them. They'll, they'll slam on their brakes or something. I don't know. But it's it's insane. And there's like bl bright flashy lights like at every intersection. They're, they're like flashing lights. And I don't know what those are. We tried to ask and then our driver actually turned the windshield wipers on and, and put fluid on the, win the, wa the windshield. <laughs> because we said, what are the flashy lights? And he's like, what? And we went, flashy lights. They do this. And, and then he cleaned the windshield and he goes, is that better? <laughs> so I don't, I don't think he knew what we were saying. So today we actually went out and uh, we ate lunch, uh, Chinese food lunch. And uh, we, we realized, the thing about it here is, uh, what I realized is that all these lunch places that serve Chinese food, to me, it smells like chicken feet. And I don't like chicken feet. <laughs> I've tried them. I'll try anything. And I've tried chicken feet and I just don't like them. I just can't do it. But anyways, it's like this giant buffet, like Golden Corral style. And you just like load up bowls of food on your plate. And then you uh, check out. And the cash register lady just kind of looks at your food. And then she says, okay, it's this much. And then you pay her. Well, the guys that were with us, we didn't know what we were doing. We were just kind of like, oh, I want a little bit of this, a little bit of that. The problem is, is that all the food there is not a little bit, it's a lot. So like if you're like, I want some rice, it's like this giant bowl of rice. If you want um, like some chicken feet <laughs> or if you want like a meatball or whatever it is, it's like this giant bowl plate. So we, we pay for our food and we sit down to eat it and everybody's sharing we don't know why we thought they were being polite but then when we're done we start walking out and i realize that what everybody does is they they all get like a bowl of this or a bowl of that or or a plate of this or a plate of that and it's kind of like that restaurant um pf chang to where usually when you're with a group of people everybody kind of gets what they want and you, and you go sit down at the table and you lay it out in the center and everybody just shares. Well, we, we didn't realize that. They shared it with us, but we didn't share it with them. So I, so I feel like a dick now because I didn't share, but they're pro they probably understand that we don't know. I hope, they, I hope they know that anyway. Okay, so this is the Chinese currency here. Um, very, very simple. They say it's 60, and then you can say, okay, let me grab this 100, because 100 is more than 60. You give them 100, and they'll give you change. They'll give um, you back to 20s. Very simple money system, super, super easy. Now we are going to the market, which supposedly is over here, but I can't show you, so I have to pause it. Trace of the night on the way back down from the sky where you left my soul. Can you help me fly? I can't resist because you have got a hold on me and all these thoughts. When you are here, you light up the dark sides to live in the night. Shine. You take my life and life. that a lot of the people here in China have 
belly shirts. They uh, roll the shirt up. All right, so we are eating breakfast in the hotel lobby, and I want to show you guys some of the food we got, because some of it's kind of interesting. Okay, here is a century egg. So we're supposed to put it in this porridge stuff, I guess. I had some yesterday, it was pretty good, actually. Looks disgusting, but it's like a fermented egg. Uh, and the rest of the stuff, I'm not quite sure. There's like an octopus salad, some bacon, some sausage. That meat thing's called lioner. This is like a veal something. This is lioner, whatever that is. And this is some kind of egg tart, I think is what it's called. Mystery. No, that's those little cake pie looking things. Something. Here. I have... The same stuff, basically. No, I have... <laughs> this is jellyfish. Jellyfish. That's fried mushrooms and something. And bacon. Their bacon here is funny. Yes. So we're off again. Another day of sourcing in this <laughs> massive giant mall, and uh, we got a list of products that we're out hunting for. And uh, our friends Tony and Daniel are taking us to the section where they're at. Oh, yeah, I want to show you guys uh, a model here, it's actually pretty cool. Okay, this is a model of this complex here. Let's see, where are we at? We're, we're over here, right? Uh, right. Okay, so we are right there. Okay, so we've walked from here. This is where our hotel is. So we're here. Right there, okay. And we have walked through here. We are right here now. And you see, this keeps going all the way there. And also all the way this way. All the way here. More here. And then all this. So this is how big this place is. It's all four stories tall. Pretty cool. So we just entered into a store, a Chinese store. We found some grilled squid flavor lays, roll <laughs> things. These are like steak crackers, I think. I don't know. <laughs> All kinds of cool, crazy things. Had to come over here and buy some snacks for the room. Looking for some talcum powder. Haven't found it yet. Just because it's so humid here, my armpits are like chafing. And you just like sweat. And uh, Americans sweat a lot more than Chinese people. 